Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, and a question I've been asked a lot recently is, Rachel, when should I get ECT? ECT is electroconvulsive therapy, or electric shock therapy. Uh, yes, I had ECT a while, a long while, many years ago. I actually need to figure that out. Um, there, and I've talked about the upsides and downsides to ECT. Um, understand, I have brain damage from it. Uh, from what I've been told, I had unilateral. That's where they, like... They shoot it and it's the electrical volt goes around and comes back out. Then there's bilateral where it like goes back and forth, the electrical current. Um, so I had unilateral. I did get brain damage from it. Uh, I had to relearn how to read and write. Uh, yeah, I have like entire segments gone of my life. It was really funny. My brother sent me this picture of me from his high school graduation. First off, I had no idea I was at his high school graduation. Like... I, I don't know. I, I don't know where I thought I was. I, I traveled a lot, so I thought maybe I was out of the country at the time. Um, but yeah, and he sent me this picture of me, and I did not recognize myself at all. The dress I'm wearing in it, I don't recognize at all. The whole picture is very bizarre. It was like, this is a picture of me? Uh, my mom was telling me a story the other day about um, me being in a Taekwondo class and why I quit. Well, I, they actually, my mom and dad pulled me out of it, and I didn't know this, um, but apparently I was attacked by this man who joined the class who hit on me as a 16-year-old or whatever, and yeah, actually, when I turned him down, got aggressive and kind of went crazy on me in the sparring match. I have no recollection of that, like, at all, you know, and I'm thinking, what, you pulled me out of Taekwondo? And they're like, yeah. I was like, oh, I thought I just lost interest. Like, I had, I'd like, why did you quit? I, I don't know. Like, I don't. I have no clue. Like, that that's just a blank area in my head. And apparently that's my mom and dad were like, yeah, you're not allowed to be in this anymore because of Nutcase over here. So, yeah. There are some, like, you, when you get ECT, you're understanding that there are some serious risks that come along with it. And you really got to weigh the good and the bad if it's worth it. If you're struggling with suicide, um, deep depression, and you have suicide attempts you know, and things like that, then obviously you need to look into ECT if your depression is that bad. I always think it's funny, people will be like, oh, you know, I have all these suicide attempts, but I don't want to lose my memory. And I'm like, well, if you kill yourself, me memory is going to be, I mean, it's gone. But everything's gone. You are awesome, okay? And wonderfully made. And you deserve to have a kick-ass awesome life. For some people who medication doesn't work for, ECT could be a very good option. So that's something you need to explore with your doctor as far as when to get it. For me, I became very desperate for it because nothing was working and I was getting more and more just kind of out of it. I don't, there's a whole year of college that I was like a zombie through. How I made all A's, I don't know. I don't even know how I got to class, but I just started kind of between the schizo and the depression, just really going inside myself and kind of getting locked away. And um, ECT, you know, luckily brought me out of that. And I don't think I would be alive if I hadn't gotten ECT, or really, if I was, I'm not sure of the condition that I would be in. Had I continued on that, that path, I would hope that you know, I would have woke up one day, you know, and snapped out of it, but I don't know. ECT was what snapped me out of it over the course of a few weeks after um, having them. So understand it's a very big choice to, to make. And there are ups and downs to it. And yeah, explore it. Try other methods. I always say try medication first. And there's a lot of different medications, a lot of different cocktails. Um, see how that affects you. And some of them might help. And medications help a lot of people. Unfortunately, I'm one of the ones that I become very resistant to medications quickly. So um, none of the antipsychotics and stuff really worked on me. I would work for like a month. And then my body just kind of would adapt. And then they would just keep giving more and more until basically I couldn't have any more. There's, there's also counseling, a lot of different options. So understand that there's ways to deal with mental disorders and depression. ECT, you know, is one of those ways. Hope that helps. All right, I am Rachel Starr, and... You guys have, like, a freaking awesome day.